Here is my thought after swapping my Canon gear to Sony for about 6 months. So let's get started. Okay guys, welcome back to All About My Gear episode and in this episode, I want to share with you my experience after swapping my Canon gears to a Sony mirrorless systems. And just a bit of background, I was using a Canon gears for about maybe about 10 years, almost 10 years. I was using a 5D series, a 1D series before this and I've been using this Sony A7 series and RX1 series for about 6 months. So. I'm gonna give you a rough idea how I feel about this uh, mirror systems. Okay, first, we're gonna talk about the pro of using this uh, Sony system. The Sony system is really lightweight compared to Canon cameras. And that's one of the reasons uh, why I'm swapping to Sony mirrorless system because I'm kind of tired bringing all those uh, big L lenses and a big camera body from Canon because uh, I used to travel a lot and it really makes you tired to carry those uh, heavy camera bag while with this Sony right uh, I will only need to bring these two uh, the Sony RX1 R2 and the Sony A7 R2 with a 85mm while the RX1 R2 have a 35mm attached on the body so this is the perfect combination and it's really lightweight compared to my old Canon gears Okay, the EVF uh, really helps me a lot on my uh, photo assignment, especially for documentations because I can see the result right away. Uh, compared to the Canon DSLR, I kind of have to use my feeling and check the light meters. While sometimes the light meters in Canon gears is not really accurate, so sometimes after you shoot, you need to check the result. While with Sony, right, you can, with the EVF, you will know the result right away before you snap the photos. So, um, for Sony, right, you, do, you don't really have to go to their pro lenses like those P Master. Other than it's expensive, I find it is really heavy for A7 series. Well, like, but they have a decent uh, pro consumer lens like this one, the 85 uh, f1.8. It's fast, it's sharp, and it's quite lightweight. So, yeah, I find that Sony lenses is sharper compared to those uh, Canon lenses, especially on the pro consumer markets. Okay, I really love these features, and because right because of the APS-C mode, I don't have to bring a lot of lenses. Let's say if I bring my 55 millimeter lens, I can just swap to APS-C mode. The 55 millimeter lens is equivalent to about 85 millimeter lens. So in one lens, right, I can get two focal distance. That's why I really love the features because I can get, I can bring lesser lenses, but I can still get uh, the range that I need. The next advantage of using a Sony mirror system is the focus picking. And the focus picking on the S7 series, right, especially if you want to adapt to a, an old vintage uh, lenses, right. Uh, Besides, it's very affordable, but it'll give you a very fantastic result. The focus picking will give you a very precise focus on your images. Uh, I find that this uh, Sony mirror system is very good for hybrid shooter. Uh, what do you mean with hybrid shooter, right? So if, if you, let's say you're a photographer, but you want to do a bit of videography, like I did it for my YouTube, this will be a perfect uh, set up for you because Sony camera give you a very decent um, decent quality and it and you can use an s lock 2 if you want for your picture profile because with s lock 2 right you can it will help you to grade your colors better because it will give you more dynamic range okay next is the tilt screen okay the tilt screen here is is really useful when you're shooting low angles while in my Canon's time, right, for my Canon 5D and 1D, it doesn't come with any tilt screen. I don't know in the future, but uh, it's really pain in the ass while you have to squat all the way to the ground to take a low angle. A lot of third-party market 
uh, provide an adapter well you can adapt with any lenses like those FD lenses you can adapt to Leica M mount so there's a lot of lenses that you can adapt and I think it's really useful for a videographer because uh, the videographer love to use a manual focus and for those people who already invested a lot on Canon lenses or Nikon lenses they don't have to swap all the way to Sony lenses because they can adapt with an adapter Okay, the first cons of using this mirror system is after the camera just switch off from the safe mode you want to turn it on sometimes it can be fast, sometimes it can be slow and the bad thing is if you accidentally turn off the camera while you're shooting right then you want to turn it on again because you, there's uh, some moments that you're going to capture it's going to take a bit of time right i don't know on the sony a9 or the sony a7r3 i believe they have improved i'm sure that it won't be as fast as uh, the slr systems so you, you have to be watch out of that i find that the screen the brightness is not there especially if you're shooting on video mode or like say if you're shooting that on 120 frames per second it will be automatically dim right the camera will dim the the lcd i think it's because they don't want to overheat the the screen and it will give you a hard time to shoot because you can't really see it properly okay the buffer time on sony a7r2 is pretty bad same as the sony rx1r2 because the file is so huge I think the processor is not there yet. I know that they have improved it on this A7R3 and the A9. I don't think you will have a problem on that. But in particularly, if you let's say you want to swap, you want to have, you want to save some money and upgrade it, your camera to A7R2, you have to be watch out with the buffer time. Here is the things that I really miss from Canon Gears is the color science. Canon color is really good, especially for the 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 skin tone because they uh, they have a very fantastic color science while with sony right uh, there's a bit of green cast on your image it will make your skin color looks a bit dirty uh, i don't know why but uh, i tried to use a gray card as well but it doesn't give me a hundred percent accurate colors but uh, it can be fixed on post-production so uh, you don't have to worry about that but yeah but if we compare with canon gears Canon has a better color science compared to Sony. The build, if we compare with the SLR, right, it's not as robust as uh, Canon gears. I find that um, like the buttons, the structure, everything is uh, it's not as robust with uh, Canon gears. I I haven't really dropped it. I don't think I want to drop this camera. While with my Canon gears, I dropped my 1D in the stairs. I drop it everywhere and it works just fine. Still not sure about this, I will give you more review, but looking at the build, I don't think it will handle uh, such a bad impact. Okay, that's all uh, the pros and cons uh, after I'm using this gear for about six months. Uh, I find the technology is there, but there's a lot of room improvement. But overall, I'm really happy uh, with all the changes I made. Uh, it will, the one of the top reason that I want to swap into Sony is because I want to have a very lightweight system and it served me well. I hope this video will help you to decide whether you want to move on to a mirror system or stay on your DSLR setup. Okay, uh, that's all for today. I hope this video is really useful for you and I'm gonna post a lot more video in the future. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below and I'll see you till the next episode. Bye bye guys.